Hi, I'm Ant. I'm the CTO at Superbase, and I'm going to do a deep dive into Superbase Auth. So if you watch these videos, then by the end, you should have a pretty good understanding of how Auth works in Superbase, uh, how you can use it and how you can even extend it a little bit as you need. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is what Superbase is. Superbase is a database. Uh, we give you a vanilla Postgres database to work with. And then we give you three APIs. We give you the CRUD API, which is create, read, update, delete uh, for your data. We give you the real-time API so you can subscribe to changes in your database as they happen over WebSockets. And the third thing we give you is the auth API. So you can sign up users to your to your platform, your website, or your database. So the first thing I'm going to show you is if you start a new project within Superbase and you go down to settings on the left hand side, then open up the API window. You'll see we've got certain certain values in here. Um, so the first one is uh, the, the base URL. This is what you'll put into the Superbase client library, so Superbase JS, um, to tell it which which one is your Superbase backend. Uh, and then the the second thing is a JWT secret. We'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. Um, and then we have our API keys. Now the special thing about API keys in Superbase is they're not just dumb strings. Uh, they are actually JWTs, so they're actually JSON web tokens themselves. So if you open up JWT.io and I've copied my Anon key, I can paste it in and this website will decode the key and, and tell me what, what data it holds. So we can see here, the first thing it says is the type of algorithm that's been used uh, to to encode this this data. Uh, the second thing is the purple section. And this is the bit we're interested in. This tells us what role this, this key assumes, the date at which this token was generated and the date at which this token expires. And the last bit is the signature for the, for the JSON web token. So the way this works is your Superbase backend has a JWT secret, which is this. And then it uses the secret to cryptographically sign the first two sections of the token to produce this signature. This means that if you generate a JWT for one of your users, they store it in the browser in, in local storage. Then whenever they interact with your Superbase instance, your Superbase instance can say, okay, this, this is a person who I've issued a token to. You can verify this signature and you can verify, okay, this person does indeed hold a particular role or has control over a particular email address. So the first thing you might be wondering is why have I got two API keys here? Now, the first one here is supposed to be used in your client. So it's safe to put this key in a JavaScript library, which will be on the user's browser because it's possible to restrict what this key can access in your database. Now, the second one is one that you absolutely do not want to put on the client side because this is your master key, the service role. You should only ever use this server side in a protected environment because it bypasses all of the row level security in Superbase and can basically read and write from any table. It has elevated privileges. So you definitely don't want to use this one in your front end. And just to show you, we're going to copy this, paste it into jwt.io and we can see that it holds this role, service role, and this is the, the special 
elevated privilege role. So this is the first place we use JWT tokens in Superbase. The second place is when a user signs up for your service and logs in. When the user logs in using their email address and password or using a magic link, we issue them a JWT. But just for now, I'll show you one that I generated earlier um, for my user Ant at superbase.io. And I can see that the role is authenticated. So anyone who's logged into your service in Superbase will have this role. And there's a little bit of user and app metadata in there. And then my email address and my user ID, which is of course unique to this particular user. And just for completeness, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this JWT secret here I'm going to paste it in the bottom and just to prove that this signature is in fact accurate. It was signed with the key from my project. Now, the last thing to keep in mind is this is another secret that you don't want to get out. So whatever you do, do not leak this JWT secret that you see on the dashboard. Okay, so that's a very brief intro into Superbase Auth. Uh, JWT tokens, what they are and where to find them, how we use them in Superbase. And if you watch the next video, I'm going to show you how to use this Anon key to read and write data from Superbase, but also how to restrict access to this key so that it can't access all of the data in your Superbase database.